Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do this nice little vignette of a rose in charcoal. I'm going to use woodless charcoal pencils. And if you want to see the full length video, you should check out my Patreon. I'll do the sketch first and I'm, I'm going to do this in two stages. First I'm going to work with a graphite pencil to work out the composition and the placement as well as the overall shape of the rose and then I'm going to go over that with my charcoal pencil and I'll explain why I'm doing it that way in a minute. I'm going to be using uh, Master's Touch woodless charcoal pencils the medium one and the soft one and in addition to that I may use some other stuff such as charcoal powder mostly created by sharpening these pencils. In addition to that I'm going to use some blending and erasing tools. But like I said, the, the initial sketch will be done with a graphite pencil. The paper I'm using is a Strathmore 400 series. So now that I have a simple sketch in place, I'm going to go over that with a medium charcoal pencil. The reason why I'm doing this is to make some indications where some of the darker portions will be but also to make sure that my sketch remains in place once I go over it with some charcoal powder because that's what I intend to do next. The reason why I'm going to go over it with some charcoal powder is to create some mid-tone to work with and also to create a little bit of a background for my vignette because this is going to be a vignette where the central part of the drawing will be the, the flower itself and that's where I'm going to have the cleanest edges and the largest amount of detail and contrast and then I'm going to fade, the, fade my vignette towards the edges of the paper I hope that it will create a nice effect. So now I'm going to put down a bit of charcoal powder and like I said I created this charcoal powder simply by sharpening one of my woodless charcoal pencils. So I laid that down with a brush and I'm just going to push it around a little bit with a soft brush I'm actually not pressing too much, especially in this first stage where I just want to distribute the charcoal powder more or less evenly. And now I'm going to push a little bit harder to create that vignette, pushing the charcoal powder away from the center towards the edges. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I get it to look fairly smooth. And if I need to, I will also use a slightly larger brush to make everything look smoother. Right now it looks like a bit of a mess, but it's going to start to look better once I start defining uh, the actual rose, which, which will be the focus of this drawing. I have done a drawing of this flower in pastels when I was testing the use of clear gesso as a medium for pastels. I plan to do a drawing of a rose, probably a red rose, in colored pencils as well eventually, but here I just felt like uh, doing something in charcoal. I felt like doing a nice little vignette in charcoal, something not too complicated. Um, I'm shading, I'm going to have to shade segment by segment, petal by petal, and the key thing here will be edges. The key thing will be contrast, value contrast, and uh, clean, clean edges to value. Clean contrast between the edges, uh, because I'm going to need to show uh, where one petal ends and where the other one begins and um, each and every one of them is going to be casting a bit of shadow uh, sort of under them or under uh, on, onto the petal which is placed under them 
because the light source is coming from above so the upper part of the petal and the part of the petal which is sticking out is always going to be lighter because it's catching more light from the light source while the parts of the petal which are under the other the other ones under the other petals or are closer to the um, to the center of the flower uh, they are going to, they are going to be in the shadow they are going to be a little bit darker so I hope I'm making sense anyway let me do a bit more explaining about uh, uh, about the tools that I'm using I'm using a combination of brushes and tutilians to do my blending I like to use a combination of uh, I, I like to use a combination of different blending tools because they all have slightly different effects so for example tutilians they can allow for a little bit more precision because you can roll them into a fine tip and the same goes for blending stumps if you prefer those but brushes uh, they allow you to create these smoother transitions and almost painterly effects and uh, we're going to have a lot of those smoother transitions as well but like I said these sharp transitions, sudden transitions or clean edges between uh, the petals, the individual petals are going to be far more important for me to kind of explain the shape and the structure of the flower to the viewer. By the way, uh, I'm using a combination of two charcoal pencils here. The one that, they, that is in the pencil holder, the shorter one, is the medium grade. And the longer one is the soft charcoal pencil. If you're wondering about the difference, the soft charcoal pencil is softer, obviously, but it's also a bit darker. Here you can also see me using a pencil eraser to work on some of these edges to pull some of the lighter marks and to uh, increase the range of value and to increase that contrast and at the same time to clean up these edges by, by enhancing that contrast. So the uh, pencil eraser is a Kohinoor pencil eraser. It's like a rubber er eraser in a pencil and it, it can be used in a similar way as a pencil if you have a Tombow Mono Zero eraser that pretty much does the same thing and it's just like drawing with a regular pencil but you draw lighter marks here again I'm going in with a soft charcoal pencil to put down some of the darker bits or some of the darkest bits in this flower especially in this central part of the flower where, where the petals are kind of rolled into, um, into the center and um, normally I like to use uh, I like to use my darkest values sparingly but this uh, whole drawing uh, I mean this whole flower is going to have a bit more of those darker darker areas overall so I'm probably going to be using this soft charcoal pencil a bit more than usual but it's still a good idea to not to go too dark too early and to use the darkest pencil you have sparingly so that you have a nice range of value and so that these darkest bits uh, are more effective because you didn't you didn't overuse them uh, here I'm working on the top edges uh, of the flower and I'm going over this with a medium charcoal pencil you can see that I'm shading rather carelessly because I know that I'm going to cover all of this or push all of this with blending tools so it doesn't really matter if I'm producing some ugly texture at the moment that's going to disappear once I start blending um, Tosilians in general they tend to remove most of the texture they have a slightly different effect than brushes brushes uh, they can help you preserve some of the texture but here I'm not particularly interested in the texture I'm, I am going to leave a bit of texture uh, just so that 
the petals don't look entirely smooth and artificial but it's not a it's not something that I'm really going to focus on here the reason why I rotated the drawing here is because sometimes I have to do that when I'm blending so that I could preserve a clean edge. The way you can do that with brushes is by pointing the tip of the brush or a flat brush towards the edge. That allows you to push the material to the edge and no further. And it helps you create a clean edge while still using a brush as a blending tool. So you can see I'm using this uh, straight edge of a flat brush and I'm just blending all the way to the edge. Now if you want to create a blurry edge or a soft edge you would just do the opposite. You would turn the brush or the drawing the, op uh, the opposite way. But occasionally I, ha I have to rotate the drawing when I want to work on the edges. Normally I don't record uh, those parts of the drawing process because I don't want you to I don't want you to have to watch uh, constant rotating but uh, I try to minimize it when I'm recording top down but it's definitely more convenient when you're able to rotate your drawing a little bit especially when you have to work on the details and when you have to work on the edges like I just did it doesn't matter whether you're working with a pencil or whether you're working with a brush <coughs> anyway going back in because I did a bit of blending and when you blend some of those darker areas get a little bit lighter they kind of uh, mix uh, with the lighter areas so if you want to reinforce them uh, you just go back and add a bit more of that soft charcoal pencil and once again I'm using a charcoal a pencil eraser sorry to go over some of the edges where there will be areas of much lighter value because the very top, the very edge of these petals is, is uh, sticking out and it's going to be uh, a lot lighter than the rest of the petal which is kind of hidden in the in the shadow closer to the center of the center of the flower and I'm doing that uh, around almost all of these edges and it's not only increasing the range of value it's also allowing me to clean up the edges and to uh, enhance the contrast between the between the darker areas and the lighter areas creating that clean edge to value which is like I said so important if you want to uh, define uh, individual petals individual parts of the flower and I'm adding a bit more shadow here under under this part of the flower because that that part is going to be casting a shadow downwards so you always want to stay consistent with the light source and um, the light source here is coming from above but it's also the light is coming from outside the flower so anything that is tucked inside closer to the stem closer to the center of that flower is going to be darker it's going to be hidden in the shadow and I'm doing some shading on the uh, on these lighter parts as well, trying to define um, the shape to explain to the viewer kind of the, the way they're bending and uh, twisting. And uh, here and there, I'm also using a kneaded eraser to dab on some of these areas to make them a bit lighter. So I'm I'm using a combination of two types of erasers: the pencil eraser which is certainly more convenient because you can use it like a pencil and a kneaded eraser which has to be molded uh, but it's also very useful uh, but just like with blending tools I like to use I like to use different erasing tools as well I wanna uh, play around with, the, with, the, with them and I wanna be able to use their advantages I cleaned up the outer edges here as well uh, just want to make sure that my flower really pops out against that background and you can see how uh, this uh, vignette that I started creating initially by laying down that charcoal powder it, it looked like a mess at first but now that I'm defining this flower it's really it's really starting to make a lot more sense we're gonna have this fading background 
that's kind of barely there and it's not really doing much but it, it's just providing a little bit of background and a bit of context uh, context for this flower just so that so that it's not hanging there on the on the pure white of the paper now i'm going to start working on the leaves uh, i did uh, the upper portion of the stem and uh, i'm I'm doing the leaves now. Some of them are going to appear a bit darker than the others because obviously uh, some of them are going, be, um, are going to be catching a bit more light than the others and it, it depends on their position and the angle. And I'm also going to be pulling some lighter marks, light, uh, lighter details on them as well. Um, I'm just uh, I'm going to have to work on their outer edge a little bit so that so that the edge uh, looks uh, kind of uh, a little bit uh, jagged because that's the way the uh, rose leaves look and you can see that here I'm shading one side of the leaf a little bit darker and making the other one a bit lighter depending on whether it's turning towards the light source or away from the light source. I think the most complex part is over. Now I just need to finish the rest of the stem and the leaves and maybe do a few refining touches on the flower itself but it's mostly done. Now if you like my drawings and if you like my videos, you should subscribe. You should also give me a like and comment on my videos. That would mean a lot for my channel because I haven't been getting many views lately. And of course, as always, if you want to see additional content and longer videos, you should check out my Patreon. I even used a bit of vine charcoal here on the leaves. I just thought that it was a bit more convenient when you want to achieve some smoother blending. don't really know why I didn't use it here much because I normally like to combine vine charcoal with charcoal pencils but I guess I just wanted to work a bit more with these woodless charcoal pencils. They're quite similar to the ones that I used, used before I don't really see much of a difference. And as for the paper, I don't really see that much of a difference uh, uh, depending on the type of the paper that I'm using either. I just like the paper to be a little bit thicker. But this one has a little bit more texture than the smoother papers that I normally work on. But it's all good. Just uh, finishing some of these leaves and like I said uh, the uh, there are some lighter portions here I don't really know how these parts of the leaf are, are called but I'm, I'm pulling those lighter lines with a pencil eraser. Some of them need to be a little bit stronger, a little bit more pronounced than others. Others are a bit more subdued. And I'm just uh, going back and putting putting down some finishing touches and cleaning up some of the edges here and there. But like I said, I wanted the top part, the central part on my drawing to be a bit more defined and to kind of fade towards the edges so that the flower itself would draw the focus of the viewer immediately. And just doing a little bit more refining. And that should do it. Now where am I going to sign the drawing? In the lower right part of the paper and that's it I think it's done I haven't done that many drawings of flowers 
So I thought that this would be kind of refreshing. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye for now.